Previously, HDB flat buyers have been required to apply for the HDB loan eligibility or HLE letter before booking a flat. However, recently HDB is refining this approach by introducing what they call HDB flat eligibility or HFE letter. This will be applicable both for new and resale HDB flat buyers. In this video, I'm going to discuss what are the key differences between HLE and HFE, when an HFE letter is needed, and how to apply for an HFE letter. In the past, the HDB loan eligibility letter only focused on what is the maximum loan amount that you can take based on the information submitted at the point of application. However, the new HDB flat eligibility letter will include your eligibility to purchase a BTO or resale flat, receive CPF housing grants and how much are you eligible for, plus how much loan you are eligible for. This will provide a more holistic view of your housing and financing options so that you can make an informed decision. The HFE letter itself is valid for 6 months. So when do you need an HFE letter? You will need a valid HFE letter when you apply for a flat from HDB during a sales launch or open booking of flats, or obtain an option to purchase from a flat seller for a resale flat, and also when you submit a resale application to HDB. So how to apply for HFE letter? There are just two steps to apply for an HFE letter. Step 1, preliminary HFE check, and step 2, apply for an HFE letter. In the preliminary HFE check, you will need to provide your household particulars and income details. You can save time by using my info to retrieve your particulars and update them if there are any changes. You will also need to enter the particulars of the co-applicants and occupiers in the application. If you need more time, you can save a draft copy at any time during your application. The draft will be available for 30 days from the date you start the preliminary HFE check. Next, provide the employment details, monthly income and bonuses received by all persons listed in the application. And after that, you will need to submit declarations. You will need then to declare any interest in private properties for all persons listed in the application. Next, you will need to indicate whether you intend to take up a housing loan for a flat purchase. If you do, you will also need to declare any monthly financial commitments such as installment plans, bills, insurance premiums, and other loan payments. On the last screen, the system will give you an opportunity to review the summary of information that you have provided. Note that if you want to make any changes after this, you will need to start a completely new preliminary HFE check to ensure the information is accurate. You will then receive a preliminary assessment of your eligibility to buy a new or resale flat, receive CPF housing grants, and take up an HDB housing loan. You can log back into HDB flat portal to view your preliminary HFE assessment anytime within the next 30 days. If you are eligible for an HDB housing loan, you can also compare different loan scenarios, including the monthly installments and interest payable, based on different loan amounts and repayment periods. If there are any changes to the information provided, such as your employment, income, or ownership of private properties, you must start your preliminary HFE check afresh. If you have decided to buy an HDB flat, you will need to proceed to step 2, which is to apply for an HFE letter. This must be done within 30 calendar days of starting your preliminary HFE check. Okay, so in this stage, the system will ask you to confirm whether you want to take a housing loan or not. The option that will be shown is as per indicated in your preliminary HFE check, but you can still change it if you want to. If you wish to take up a housing loan to finance your flat purchase, you can view your eligibility for the HDB housing loan and the different loan scenarios. And what is interesting now, you will be able to see housing loan options from up to 6 selected financial institutions. If you are interested in any of it, you can request an in-principle approval or IPA for a housing loan. This IPA will provide you with an indicative loan assessment. Okay. Next, provide your particulars. Again, you can use my info to retrieve your particulars and contact details, CPF contribution history over the past 15 months, and also latest notice of assessment from IRS. After that, you can review the details and make sure everything is accurate before submitting your application. 
Next, review your chosen financing options and also loan provider if you are taking a housing loan. If you need to make any changes, only applicant one can do so by returning to choose loan options. Finally, please go through the terms and conditions of the application. Once you are ready, digitally endorse all the information provided. To submit the application, all applicants and occupiers, if any, must log in using SingPass to verify their details and declarations. Once all applicants and occupiers have endorsed the application, you will be advised on any supporting documents required. After you have uploaded the required documents and submitted your application, you will see an acknowledgement page. HDB will contact you if any additional information is required for your application. To check the status of your application, you can log into the HDB flat portal at any time. Typically, HDB will send you the HFE letter within 21 working days of receiving your complete application, though the processing time may be longer during peak periods, such as in the months of and before a sales launch. If you apply for an IPA from the participating financial institutions, they will liaise with you directly on the outcome of your IPA application. You will be able to confirm the financial institution's loan offer through the HDB flat portal after securing a flat. When your HFE letter is ready, you will be notified via SMS to log in to the HDB flat portal. Again, remember that the HFE letter is valid for 6 months. So what's my take regarding this change? Buying a house is in general a very complex process, so the effort that HDB is making to simplify the journey is appreciated. Let me know what do you think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.